Good morning all, welcome back to the channel. So this is um, Walksnail Avatar Goggle X. I've just recently got into the HD side of flying and it's quite hard to turn your back on it and go back to analog because of the picture quality and what it has to offer. So in this video, what I want to do is just go through a bit of a walkthrough and a run through of my goggles that I've got here. Just as a comparison, I want to share with you why I decided to buy these over the DJI FPV system. And hopefully it can shed some light on other people that are trying to get into the high definition side of the FPV flying and might help them make a decision as what's best for them. I'm not going to be selling a review on these as to why you should buy these over the DJI. It's a totally personal decision that you need to make yourself. I'm just going to share with you the reasons why I decided to go this route and what lies ahead with it. So main factor I decided with these over the DJI, I found after doing a bit of research that the Goggle X seemed to be a lot more universally friendly than the DJI system. I found with these these goggles here, I can see me upgrading and doing a lot with um, in years to come. Whereas the DJI system, they always bring out new products and it always seems to be that you need to upgrade. It's just like their drones. A new Mavic comes out, which is better than the previous one. It gives you that sense that should I upgrade from the one I've previously got to the latest one? A bit like mobile phones do, I guess. Um, I find with this is a lot more upgradable. I'm going to run you through a few things here that uh, they have. I know DJI, you can upgrade a few things on the DJI too. Um, like I said, I'm not, not here to bash why these are better than DJI. It's totally a personal decision. So one thing that won me over, I love the design. I think it's a great design. Personally myself, I think it's a better looking goggle than the DJI. My own personal opinion. The LEDs on the front can be changed from red to blue to green. If that takes your fancy. That's um, something pretty small, but I like appearance, and I think these are a cool-looking goggle. They've had their flaws too. You've got to remember the Walk Snail Goggle X is kind of like a work in progress at the moment. You could probably say, yeah, they released it too early, um, had a lot of bugs in it when it first came out, and it still has. But they are improving it, and I've got to say my overall experience with the system so far has been excellent. My only gripe I have is they claim the range on it is 3 to 4 kilometres. Well, I'm, I'm lucky to get 1.5 kilometres out of the standard antennas that come with them. So in saying that, you got your four antennas, just like on the DJI. Each of these you can screw off and replace and upgrade your antennas with many different varieties that are out there. DJI is pretty much the same. You can do the same with that too for better range. Um, that's something I plan to do pretty soon, to be honest, because I like to have that security of strong range and not having a failure. It doesn't matter how far I'm flying. I just prefer to have that in the back of my mind that I've got a good, strong reliable system. So that's one reason I want to get rid of these antennas. These are left-hand circular polarized antennas, and I believe that's RPSMA connectors you need. Interchangeable face molding on the goggles, which I've done with mine as well. I've upgraded these to a much thicker padding, <clears throat> which there's many options out there for both DJI and this system. Uh, this one I bought off AliExpress. It comes with your little Omni covers here, which protects the lens and these just rip off velcro on so you can replace whatever you want the strap as well i've upgraded this to a fatter strap on the back i found the standard system was pretty good for my head and still fairly comfortable i didn't have any issues with that but i just like to upgrade and i, I thought that's a good one to do there was a little bit of light leakage I found with the standard face shield foam padding. Uh, this one blocks out majority of it. The only leakage I found was around the edges here a little bit, but on this it seems to have stopped pretty much everything. Many different varieties of these you can get. I bought this one from AliExpress. And I, as with this, this is a walk snail. I don't know if it's genuine walk snail, but it's a walk snail fat strap that I bought. I never really had any issues with the goggles overheating. Although I have changed the, the standard heat shield that's underneath here uh, to the bigger one, uh, which they were giving away for free. I don't know if they are now. If they're not, they're pretty cheap. And it's 
I guess it's worth upgrading that. I've upgraded the heat shield inside here and that's pretty much it in the way of any kind of modifications I've done to it since I've bought it. Another thing I did like with these uh, was the analog, the input for the analog. You still need a module though, which I've kind of turned myself off that. I figure I do plan to upgrade all my planes and any future builds to HD, so I don't really have the need for an analog module hanging on here, making it even heavier and uglier. But if you do want to go that route, you can get the module for this and plugs into the bottom of the goggles. The connector for that, it didn't come with the goggles. This came with the heat shield that I that I purchased, the upgraded heat shield. So if you wanted to, if you want to get into the analog or keep the analog as well, then you will need one of these. Um, you can buy it off their website. Um, another nice feature it did have or it does have. I'm not sure with DJI on this side of it. It's possible they're exactly the same. You have two HDMI ports here. Uh, one is an input and one is an output and they, they both sit directly in front of your analog audio port there and your SD card slot right there. So another exciting thing these goggles have is a built-in gyro which can be used to develop fixed wings and RC cars for other scenarios so you can basically use it as head tracking that's what it's designed for so there's no need for any module or nothing like that to be mounted if you want to do head tracking it has the built-in gyro hardware already in it it also has a built-in Bluetooth Wi-Fi module which, uh, like I said before, you've got an app in progress at the moment, which lets, which will let you be able to upgrade firmware and um, do other sorts of things as well. But the built-in Wi-Fi module will allow you to connect goggles to the app and access a range of features, um, such as sharing on social media. That's that's pretty cool. Um, wireless upgrading, like I said, and map mode for locating the drone if you've lost it. So that's really handy. Um, keeping that in mind at the moment if you can just bear with how they are at the moment um, I, I believe in years to come these are going to be a, a way better goggle than what they are today underneath here's your receiver these are interchangeable so you can pull them out uh, just for easy replacement of other modules that are supposed to be coming uh, they are developing new generation module which they claim can uh, achieve breakthrough flight distance expected to reach up to 20 kilometers so that's going to be interesting uh, the front cover here if you don't like the led lights that are on the front it kind of makes it look like you've got eyeballs i guess a lot of people aren't too keen on that personally i don't mind it the front cover of the goggles um, can be removed and replaced with a new antenna um, replacing the two antennas that are underneath the goggles they're a directional antenna that give you more range so that's another option you can do and they're fairly cheap to buy too so instead of having the covers it'll look exactly the same these turn into aerials instead of leds and connected to the the bottom of the goggles here they don't have any idea of when this is coming out, but it's in the works at the moment. So there's quite a few things here that if you're buying this set, you're not going to have. And you've got to just accept that you're buying something with a, like a work in progress. But as far as I'm aware, this is the, these are the kind of functions that won me over with this. It, it just seems to be a lot more flexibility down the track with these. They're going to be a set of goggles that I've bought, and I don't see myself upgrading these for many years. Whereas the DJI, they seem to rely upon you purchasing new products, new products, new products after every time they release something new. As good as their products are, in my opinion, they're not looking after the hobbyist and the consumer who's uh, who's buying these products there's not a huge amount of upgrades that can be done um, whereas this is more based for the hobbyist in my opinion and there's a lot more flexibility there uh, for modifications upgrades and different different things coming down the track yeah so overall i'm, I'm very happy with them um, like I said, I'm not making this video to sell these goggles over the DJI. I'm not planning to do that. It's your own personal decision, as DJI goggles are brilliant in their own way as well, if not possibly still better. I'm not going to say they're better, but they're a great goggle regardless. It's undeniable. I guess I would suggest if you've got the older avatars and you've got them set up well and are happy with them, then there's no need to upgrade to these. 
if you're looking into the new high definition category of FPV flying, then I'd highly recommend these over the, the version one avatars just because of their flexibility. The HD zero is another option as well on top of that. You can also venture into, I don't know enough about that. The HD system um, is very flexible too, from what I've seen, a lot more flexible than the DJI. But from what I've seen, these and what you can put into them with the Cadex cameras, the moonlight camera, the um, the HD Pro camera, seem to have that little bit of an edge over the HD Zero system from what I've seen. I enjoy modifications, I enjoy upgrading, and I think this, these have a lot more potential for upgrades in the future with with new cameras coming on, um, new stuff that Cadax have in the pipeline that they haven't released yet. I think these are what won me over for that particular reason, getting into the high definition category of my FPV flying experience. Anyway, guys, that's about it. That's all I can share with you with this. Have a good day and happy flying and best of luck. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Bye for now.